Did you know that the Portland cops are the ones who are out there setting fires at the federal building? Bet you didn't know that, because I sure as hell didn't. But according to the fire commissioner of Portland, Oregon, that's exactly what's going on. Uh, let me see, what exactly is her name? Joanne Hardesty says that I'm old enough to remember the old civil rights when the police would put provocators in there. And I have no doubt in my mind that that's what the Portland police are doing right now. Of course, she goes on further to saying, I believe that the Portland police are lying about the damage and starting the fires themselves to justify their attacks on the community. Now, she offers these uh, accusations, which are extremely, you know, salacious, I guess would be a good word, uh, charges against the police officers themselves and offers zero evidence as always. Doesn't say, oh, hey, I've got video of this. Oh, you know, we've got eyewitnesses of this. We've got people have seen that. No, she just throws out her these salacious and hellacious accusations to say that cops are going out there to be arsonists just so that they can violate the civil rights of these peaceful protesters is outrageous. And the fact that this is a public official, a fire commissioner. Now, in the article, it's uh, elected. That was the word I was looking for. But whether they're elected or whether they're appointed, doesn't matter. To accuse the cops of being arsonists so that they can attack citizens is ridiculous. Makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. If the Portland police were actually out there doing their jobs, you wouldn't have to have the federal government stepping in to protect the federal courthouse. Mayor Wheeler out there wasn't such a panderer trying to favor, get favor from the mob and actually back to his department to be able to do their jobs. You wouldn't have these issues. It's what the left will bring you. It's what socialists want. It's what the communists want. They want to take ultimate power. Think about that, folks.